In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a full car bodywork retouch, removing any unwanted reflections. Hello and welcome back to another Inspiration Clan video lesson. We are going to be performing a full retouch on the car bodywork. This is a very complicated process given the colors and the gradients within the car bodywork it makes it super super complicated. So if you follow along we'll teach you everything you need to know to perform this retouch. We're going to be removing all the shadows, all the unwanted shadows from the bodywork as well. So let's jump into Photoshop. One thing I want to do is I'm just going to create a clipping mask here. So I'm just going to click, oh, and clip that to that layer. I'm going to duplicate these layers both of them by selecting them both and pulling them down to the new layer icon which is going to duplicate those layers. Now I'm just going to press command or control and E on my keyboard which is going to merge the selected layers so we'll merge these two new layers together there we go and I'm just going to rename that new layer remove the excess reflections and that is exactly what we're going to do on this layer so you can see all around the car there are these reflections so this was like a beach scene I can see some nice like palm trees there but there is too many reflections on the car we want to actually create um, a smoother look so we need to remove some of these reflections now we're going to do that using the same technique you're going to use a clone stamp tool and we're also going to remove some of the smaller reflections using the patch tool so I'm just going to zoom in on some areas down at the front here for example and I'm just going to show you an example of using the patch tool to remove some of these reflections. I'm going to show you an example and then I'm going to perform some of the large edits then I'm going to speed up the video again and perform the rest of the editing. So with the patch tool you just want to come in click and drag around an area and then you want to drag the selection and Photoshop is going to work out for you exactly how the image should look. Perfect, so it's done a good job there. We can do that on this lower part down here as well. Let's click there. You want to drag it to an area of the car that is roughly similar. So from this area, down across the bonnet of the car is a similar area. So again, Command or Control and D is going to deselect. So let's go before and after. You can see we've removed those two perfectly. So I'm going to do the same down here on this longer reflection. Just going to remove this over here. Perfect. So there you go. So you can remove all the smaller reflections on the car using the patch tool. Turn that layer back on. Now I'm going to come in down here and there is some more subtle shadows. So here we can see there's a, a man, maybe the guy who took the, the picture who's actually in this reflection, which we don't want. So for this, we're going to use the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to come in, select the clone stamp tool. Just going to hold down Alt to sample an area here. I'm just going to click and drag to remove this reflection. So there we go. And you just want to do the same. You just want to click, select an area, sample an area, click and drag to remove. Just do the same. Be mindful of the reflection, the, the lighting on the car, sorry, the darker areas and the lighter areas. You want to make sure that you, you don't do any incorrect editing and make it obvious that the car has been edited. So I'm just going to come in and keep building that up there. To select a smaller brush to get in close to the edge of the bodywork here, to the edge of the bumper. Okay, perfect. Let's do the same up here, just above on this top panel. Just going to undo that. That one was a little bit too extreme. You can always come in and reduce the opacity, which is going to create a more a subtler blend so hold down all sample an area and click and you just build up the new cloned edited area so let's turn that layer off there you go that's the before and turn it back on that's the after so you just want to go around your whole image and you want to perform these edits now I'm going to do this area on the bonnet this is quite a complex area you can see that it's a very large shadow we don't want this shadow on the bonnet this is probably the largest one to remove there's some others along the side and the, the back and the edges here but this is actually quite prominent in on the car and it's actually got a nice gradient here so it's going to be hard to perform this edit so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a selection around the edge here and I'm just going to go from there to make our edit 
Okay, so select the pen tool. Actually, let's zoom in first on this area and then select the pen tool. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select a gradient roughly around the edge here where it starts to turn back to the darker red. Perfect. And now I'm just going to select along the top of the bonnet because there are some areas across the top of the bonnet that we also need to remove. We also need all of this area as this is the area we're going to sample with the clone stamp tool. So again, come over, come down lower here. We want all of this area. Perfect. Let's make that selection there. Select OK. And you can see now we have this area. So this is our, our sample area where we're going to sample. And this is the area we're going to edit. So let's start just by removing these top bits up here, these top reflections. Just hold down Alt. I'm just going to hold down Alt roughly here. And then just click and drag over. On the bonnet, I'm going to reduce the opacity down lower so we create more of a gradual, we build up our, our change, our edit gradually rather than having a very sharp and strong change with 100%. Okay, so there we go. That's looking good. Now I'm just going to come down to the bottom of the edit down here and I'm just going to hold down Alt and I'm just going to build this up very gradually because this gradient on the bonnet is any any imperfections here with this edit is going to be very visible so take your time and build this up very slowly you can see that the colors are lighter along this edge closer to this edge so we need to build the lighter colors all the way along this edge so I'm gonna do just that just gonna sample current and below is is good So you just want to build it up and then again you want to come and sample and then build it up and then again you want to come and sample and you want to do this the same all the way up the car bonnet take your time like I said it needs to be very precise this is an important part of the image Select, build it up. You can always zoom out as well. Zoom out, make sure that what you're doing is actually looking good. So you can see here that we've actually started to create this darker area. So maybe we want to actually come in and we want to start to oh, undo that. Maybe this area down here. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now. I'm just going to do this far edge. We can we can blend that better in with the smudge tool. So let's go ahead and just build this up. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to speed up the video. I'm just going to finish off the rest of this area. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've used a clone stamp tool to perform this edit, to clone this shadow out of the bonnet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press Command or Control and D, and I'm just going to zoom into the area so you can see the effect that we're looking to achieve. So this is the before, and this is the after. As you can see, you want to try and keep the gradient as smooth as possible. You can see there are some areas that maybe need a little bit of improvement, which will you which we will improve with the uh, the smudge tool. But right now that is a, a good result. So that's sort of the result you want to achieve. Now let's select our smudge tool as we did earlier on in this lesson. We want the strength to be 10, really, really, really subtle. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to smudge in some of these areas that were a little bit too distinct. So again, let's click and drag to smudge them together. Click and drag, smudging it all together. So anywhere you can see a subtle line or the edit isn't as you want, you can see a little um, imperfections. You just want to come in and you just want to click and drag just to blend that in nicely. 
So I'm going to go ahead and increase the size there. I'm just going to drag across. Okay, so let's turn this off and on. Let's zoom out and make sure that we're happy with our result. So yeah, that's before and that's after. So that's looking good. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go ahead and perform all these edits and then I'm just going to show you the before and after with all the changes and explain the process that I've done. So here we go, I'm just going to flip from before to after. Okay, so this is our final completed retouching of the car. Well, for the imperfections anyway, for the reflections in the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the before and the after. So this is the before. You can see there's plenty of shadows across the supercar on all the bodywork. And this is the after. So it's much cleaner. The car looks much sleeker. So again, this is before. You can see we've also done all the reflections everywhere. We've done it across the window here. We've done it across the top of the window. We've done it on the carbon elements. So you want to go across your whole image. You want to look at your whole image and you want to make sure that you have every single area covered. These images, these these marketing images, they need to be perfect. So you want to go in, you want to edit every single part of the image, change the reflections as required using the techniques that are shown in this video. So there you go. Once more, that's the before and that is the after. So that's how you perform a full retouch of the car bodywork and remove any unwanted reflections. Thank you for joining us in this lesson. I will see you in the next video.